Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I hope everything is okay in your life. In this video, I will try to give my experience about settings of BDO. BDO is one of the best MMORPG in last 6 or 7 years. In fact, I think it's the best in many ways. However, some optimization problems due to the game engine preference of the company have disturbed the players over the years. Although this situation has been resolved over the time, some problems have chronic and direct impact on the gameplay of the game. As in many other MMORPG games, BDO aims to enable the more people to play the game even on low systems by using processor support. It has been understood that this situation has advantages as well as disadvantages over the time and unfortunately, defined solutions have not been produced. For example, as you can see on the screen right now, my character is standing idle in City of Idle and the FPS value I received at the lowest settings is stuck in range of 7 to 80. In the next stage, you will see that there is no change in FPS when I increase the settings to the highest level in the same place. Normally, you would expect that settings went up, FPS should have dropped, or I should have gotten something around 130 on low settings and dropped to 70 when I pulled it up. Here is where the disadvantage of being processor supported starts. Also, while you're doing PvE, when you hit mobs, it causes an extra load for your processor and it will reduce your FPS a bit. I'm sorry, but BDO has optimization problems like that. While you are playing your game, many data packets that you cannot see in the background pass through your processor instantly and you see them on your screen. Here, the processor is also trying to support image creation process as well as this process. And when it tries to deal with both game data and image, it put itself into a bottleneck. Unfortunately, we see the more severe conditions of this situation in very crowded wars. No matter how good your system is, no matter if you have a supercomputer, the result does not change much. Actually, it's not bad in a way. The same FPS is obtained on very good systems as well as on average computers. At this point, we need to increase the performance by transferring the solutions produced by the players over time to you. As a result of this situation, it will be one of the basic solutions to send less data packet to processor. At the same time, in this part of video, I will convey my preferred settings to you. Okay, let's check what I'm using for UI. The main idea, reduce everything, turn off everything of UI, what you see on the screen right now. You can open your UI while I'm doing PvE or PvP turn off my quest, only I open my quest tabs while I'm doing quests. Turn off every chat and but one of them can stay in there. Turn off every chat box, every chat box means extra load for your processor. Every extra UI that you are not using while you're doing PvE or PvP, every one of them is an extra load for your processor. The main idea, reduce the load of processor and increase FPS, reduce stutter. This is my normal BDO UI and this is my PvE and PvP UI. I do not recommend an extra level section, chats and etc. Every one of them, even this part, turn off that. Use, do not use map in 2D. 2D is equal to CPU usage. To increase your GPU usage, make it 3D. It will increase your performance greatly. For settings, let's check. For game window, normally you can see this section like that. Use full screen always. It will increase your FPS stabilization. And even if you're not using crop mode, open it and use it like this. Please don't ask why you're doing this because I don't know, but it works. It is increase your FPS and stabilize your FPS. I don't know why, but it's work. Display quality. Normally, I'm using high and remaster it while I'm doing normal stuff, casual daily stuff, doing some quests and etc. While I'm doing PvE, I'm making this thing very low and high. Texture quality on high will give an extra load on your GPU. Extra load for your GPU is always better. We have to reduce our CPU usage. And while I'm doing PvE, turn off everything. Turn off everything. And while I'm doing PvE and PvP, remove other effects. It will increase your gameplay quality. And if you don't want to remove other effects while you're doing P 1v1, for example, if you want to see your opponent's skill effects, you can open them, but you have to reduce effect opacity to around 50 or 55, 60, around like this. 
And this is a bonus information. Do not open this combat focus. This is also good for your health because it may cause headache. For camera graphics, I recommend a 100 camera vision range. Turn off every one of these camera effects. Make them zero. For quality of life section, there is nothing that increases your FPS. Show a night section, I always hide my name and hide my HP bar always and you can check in here it's also provide you see more clear image while you're doing pvp or pve and others you can make it for yourself hide your pets hide your fairy hide others campsite is also an extra thing attack decision you can use this while you're doing 1v1 at battle arena or 1vx it will help you to see your damage type or if your CC worked well or your opponent immune to your CC you can define that while you're doing PvE while you're doing PvE we talked about that when you hit mobs it will reduce your FPS because CPU load increased and also these effects increase your CPU load turn off that while you're doing PvE and large PvP defense icon it depends on you I'm opening this because my viewers on Twitch asking me may you open please we have to see what you are using and which one of them uh, have protection normally I'm not using this but while you're doing PvP on Battle Arena and 1v1 only you can see your opponent's defense icon on Battle Arena and you can use this to learn your opponent's skills protection if there is protection it will light up miss effect I'm using this. It will not affect, I think. If it is affect, it's okay for me because I have to see if I'm missing any hits. For alerts, I am turning off every alerts. I do not recommend any alerts for your brain. And you can check other things here. It depends on you. You cannot see any alerts on my screen stop. More clear game, increase your game time. And also, where is this? Here. Performance optimization. Turn off every them. If you have more than 32 GB RAM, this will affect your game performance very highly. Especially for AMD Ryzen processor, if you have 32 or higher RAM capacity GB, you can increase your game performance when you open that. I'm using 8 plus 8, 16 GB RAM and Intel's processor, it does not affect that much if you are an Intel processor user. If you have 32 or higher, you can open that. It will use your RAM capacity to increase game performance. I do not recommend if you don't have 32 or higher. Turn off every other things, as you can see on here. Turn off pets, workers, and the NPC details, everything, turn off them. That's all. That's all my settings while I'm doing PvE and PvP. I try to tell you everything about you, my UI and settings. Let's go. After the part you watched, I have to tell you about my experience in choosing a processor. In addition to the fact that video is based on the processor we mentioned, another processor problem is that it works better on Intel processors. AMD series use simultaneous thread, so the extra division in the processor directly affects your virtual core FPS performance. But this situation mostly resolved after 5000 series of Ryzen. Although my friend has AMD Ryzen 3800X processor and a NVIDIA 2080 Ti graphic card, he was getting worse FPS value than my system, which my system lower than him. He generally sold this by switching to 5000 series of Ryzen processor. If you wonder my system address, you can find that on description. Optimization of the game works better with single core threads, which Intel build technology. If you are thinking of building a new system and mostly playing video, you should definitely choose an Intel processor. If you are obsessed with AMD, you should choose a 5000 series or higher. Fever and physical cores equal higher performance for video. 
I leave an extra guide for my viewers with AMD processor in description section. This guide does not belong to me and was made by the person named a Canadian dude. Since I do not use an AMD processor, I will not be able to give you details about these extra settings. However, if you apply what is explained there, you can play more stable game. At the same time, you can make it more stable by taking into the UI settings and the game settings that I transferred to you. Each system needs its own settings and you can find the best of your systems by considering what I told to you. This part is about NVIDIA graphic cards users. If you don't know how you unlock your FPS and if you don't have monitor, if you don't have game monitor with high refresh rate or hertz, you can use this method to increase your FPS and this will also help you unlock your FPS. Let me give an example. Now it's full screen window and I have 75 hertz monitor. It's locked at 75 it's around now 70 if i make it to full screen let's check as you can see it's unlocked how you can make this how you unlock that you have to go in in media control panel 3d settings when you hit on 3d settings go in program settings you have to find video in your programs if you don't have black desert 64 exe you can find them here if you don't have black desert exe in here you can search on your computer go in the problems folder and you can find it in there you have to off your vertical synchronization here off it and restart your game it will probably unlock your fps i'm ending this guide in here which i think will be quick and useful for you I hope you like this content. If you want the continuation of this and similar contents, please do not forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell and leave a comment. Do not forget, video is just a game, have a nice game.